just want to thank you for being there for me today. And I'm sorry I, I almost broke your hand. Well, that's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry I poisoned you. Uh, hey, remember the time I jammed that pencil into your hand? Remember it. What do you think this is, a freckle? Oh. <laughs> Wait, what about the time that I hit you in the face with Sylvian's pumpkin? Oh, man. Oh, remember when I, I stuck that broom in your bike spokes and you flipped over and hit your head on the curb? No. <laughs> but I remember people telling me about it. Uh. Well, Ben has a little sister. Yeah. And I hope she can kick his ass. <laughs> I'm gonna get a new bandit. Hey, how about the time I cut the legs off your Malibu can? That was you? The, uh, they were infected. He wouldn't have made it. <laughs> Aw, my little nephew. Come here, little one. Aw, there's my little baby, Ben Ben. Hey, my little boy. Oh. Hey, he's not crying. Hey, he's not crying. <laughs> yes. There's still pie. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. How's my little boy, huh? huh? You want daddy to change your diaper? Hmm? I know, I know. So, did you have fun with uh, Uncle Joey and Uncle Chandler today? Oh, yeah. He rode the bus today. Oh. <laughs> well, big boy riding the bus. Hey, I have a question. <laughs> How come it says property of human services on his butt? <laughs> you. <laughs> You are gonna love this. <laughs> Can you hold Ben for a second? All right. Come here. Come here. Stay Jim. back. I've got Kiwi. Run, Joey, run! Pick up, pick up, pick up. Hello. Uh, Transit Authority? Yes. Hello. I'm doing research for a book, and I was wondering what somebody might do if they left the baby on a city bus. Uh, yes, I do realize that'd be a very stupid character. Hi, here's the deal. We lost a car seat on a bus today. It's white plastic with a handle and it fits onto a stroller. Oh, and there was a baby in it. Well, let's talk to you again. Hi, right. what are the guys about the baby? We left the baby on the bus. Is he here? Is he here? Is he here? He's here. Oh. Oh. I'm assuming one of you is the father. That's I'm me. Him. <laughs> Actually, uh, we're, we're both the father. <laughs> oh, man. Great. Now, Chandler, you want to give us a smile? Okay. I'm sorry, is the seat uncomfortable? No, I am. I know you can do this, okay? You have a beautiful smile. I do? Yeah. <laughs> All right, maybe you don't have to smile. Let's try something else. Let's try, um, try looking sexy. Okay. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Let's try a look of far off wonderment. Okay, we'll, we'll gaze into our future, and we'll think about our marriage and the days to come. Okay. <laughs> Chandler, what is the matter with your face? Wait, this picture is supposed to say Geller and being to be married, not local woman saves drowning moron. <laughs> hey, don't laugh at him. He's my drowning moron. <laughs> that's it, that's it, take it, take it. Chandler. Yep. Oh, geez. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, yes. Right. Let me grab my jacket and tell you I had sex today. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what? You, you had sex today? Wow, it sounds even cooler when somebody else says it. <laughs> I was awesome. 
okay? She was biting her lip to stop from screaming. Wow. Now, I know it's been a while, but I took that as a good sign. <laughs> Still doing the screening thing? I had sex today. <laughs> I never have to answer that phone again. <laughs> you know what to do. Hey, Bob, it's Jade. Listen, I just wanted to tell you that I was really hurt when you didn't show up the other day. And just so you know, I ended up meeting a guy. Bob here. Oh, hi. So, uh, you met someone, huh? Yes, yes, I did. In fact, I had sex with him two hours ago. So, uh, how was he? Eh. Eh? Oh, Bob, he was nothing compared to you. I had to bite my lip to keep from screaming your name. Well, that makes me feel so good. It was just so awkward and bumpy. Well, maybe he has some kind of uh, new uh, cool style that you're not familiar with. And uh, maybe you have to get used to it. Well, there really wasn't much time to get used to it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Never seen your little stretchy pants before. And we're changing. Come on, give me five more. Five more. Five more, and I'll flash you. <laughs> okay, just show me one of them. She's insane. The woman is insane. It's before work, it's after work, it's during work. She's got me doing butt clenches at my desk. And now, they won't bring me my mail anymore. <laughs> Monica, it's 6.30 in the morning. We're not working out. It's over. No way! With one pound to go, come on! We're working, we're moving, we're in the zone, we're grooving. Okay, I don't, I don't mind the last pound, okay? In fact, I kind of like the last pound. Okay, so don't make me do anything that I'll regret. <sighs> oh, what you gonna do, fat boy, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Except tell you, uh, I think it's wonderful how much energy you have. Well, thanks. <laughs> I mean, especially considering how tough it's been for you to find work. You know. <laughs> you know, I mean, you can't tell your parents you were fired because they'd be disappointed. Uh-huh. And it's not as if you have a boyfriend's shoulder to cry on. Well, no, but I... I mean, if it were me, I think I'd have difficulty just getting out of bed at all. You know, I try to stay positive. So you... You feel like going for a run? Because, you know, you don't have to. If you want, you could just take a nap right here. Okay. Just for a little while. Okay. This. Do you think that your parents can help pay for it? I don't know. My mother spent most of her money on her fourth wedding. <laughs> saving the rest for her divorce. And any extra cash my father has, he saves for his yearly trips to... Dollywood. What, what happened?
happened at dinner? My parents spent the money for our wedding. <gasps> My God, what did you order? <laughs> Wait, there's no money? Well, this is terrible. You guys are gonna have to get married in like a rec center. <laughs> Honey, it's gonna be okay. No, no, it's not. It's not gonna be okay. It sucks. No swing band, no lilies. No, you know what? It's gonna be okay. I mean, you don't need to have this rustic Italian feast, you know? And, and you don't need this custom-made empire-waisted duchess satin gown. You can wear off the rack. <laughs> Look, it really is going to be okay. The important thing is that we love each other and that we're going to get married. Do you even understand what off the rack means? <laughs> Why don't you just pay for it yourself? How? I don't have any money. Well, I have some. How much? Well, close to... Wedding scenario A. Oh, really? How great are you, you little saver? I mean, the, the amount you have is exactly the budget of my dream wedding. Oh, you guys are so made for each other. <laughs> well, you're not suggesting that we spend all of the money on the wedding. Uh, yeah. yeah. Come on, I've been saving this money for six years, and I kind of had some of it earmarked for the future, not just for a party. Oh, hello, Mr. Chandler. <laughs> this is the most special day of our lives. No, I realize that, honey, but I'm not going to spend all the money on one party. Honey, um, I, I love you. <laughs> but um, if you call our wedding a party one more time, you may not get invited. <laughs> <laughs> we can always earn more money, okay? But if we're only going to get married once. Look, I understand, but I have to put my foot down, okay? The answer is no. You're, you're gonna have to put your foot down? Yes, I am. Wow, money and a firm hand. <laughs> Finally a Chandler I can get on board with. <laughs> been here all night look at this pictures of all the women that heckles went out with look what he wrote on them vivian too tall madge big gums <laughs> too loud too smart makes noise when she eats this is this is me this is what i do i'm gonna end up alone just like he did chandler heckles was a nutcase our trains are on the same track Okay, yeah, sure, I'm coming up 30 years behind him, but the stops are all the same. Bittertown, <laughs> Aloneville, Hermit Junction. <laughs> all right, you know what we gotta do? We gotta get you out of here. Come on, I'll buy you breakfast, let's go. Well, what if I never find somebody? Or even worse, what if I already found her, but I dumped her because she pronounces it supposedly? <laughs> Chandler, come on, you're gonna find somebody. How do you know that? How? I don't know. I'm just trying to help you out. <laughs> You'll see. You guys are all going to go off and get married, and I'm going to end up alone. Will you promise me something? When you're married, will you invite me over for holidays? I, mean, I, I don't know what we're going to be doing. <laughs> I mean, uh, what if we're over at her folks' place? <laughs> yeah, I understand. You can come over and watch the Super Bowl every year, all right? You know what? I'm not going to end up like this. I'll see you, man. Sheesh. Supposedly. <laughs> Supposedly. Did they go to the zoo? Supposedly. No, 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 no. What, are we keeping Thanksgiving a secret this year? 
No, we were playing this game I learned at work. You have to name all the states in six minutes. What? That's like insanely easy. No, it's a lot harder than it sounds. You always forget at least one, or in some cases, 14. It's a stupid game, and I wasn't playing against other people, so technically I didn't lose. What? You forgot 14 states? Nobody cares about the Dakotas. Oh, okay, time's up. All right, I got 48. Oh, it's not bad. Beeps? Oh, I got tired of naming states, so I decided to list the types of celery. <laughs> and I have one, regular celery. Okay, so Rachel's got 48, and Phoebe has the lead in vegetables. Joey? <laughs> Say hello to the new champ of Chandler's Dumb States Game. <laughs> wow, how many you got? 56. <laughs> Hey. Hey, how Hi. was it? Well, I had a great time. Um, Chauncey, on the other hand, <laughs> I will tell the story. It was going great. I let him win. We were bonding. He even said that I could call him dad. And what did he ask you not to call him? Daddy. <laughs> All right, look, here's the story. Well, we had just finished playing racquetball, and we were going to take a steam. I walk into the steam room, and it's really steamy. <laughs> so I take off my glasses, and that's when it happened. Guys? Over here. Have a seat, son. <laughs> hey! Chandler, I can't believe it. I know. You gave my father a lap dance. <laughs> Why do they put so much steam in there? Because uh, otherwise they'd have to call it the room room. <laughs> Why, okay? Why? <laughs> Why did that have to happen? Come on, it's not that big a deal. Not that big a deal. There, there was touching of things. I know you wanted to bond with my dad, but did you really have to bond to that part? Listen, I'm sure that dad doesn't care. He probably thought this was really funny. He'll be telling the story for years. I don't want him to tell this story for years. Ooh, but he will. <laughs> he still tells the story about how Monica tried to escape from fat camp. I wasn't escaping. Then how'd you get caught in the barbed wire? trying to help out a squirrel. You were trying to eat it. <laughs> if that is your father calling to tell this story, then the marriage is off. Come on. Hello? I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Okay, I'll call you later, Dad. I love you. I had to, okay? We're getting married. Married couples can't keep secrets from one another. Oh, really? Well, I, I guess Monica should know about Atlantic City. Dude! <laughs> Atlantic City. Well, Chandler and I are in a bar. Did you not hear me say do hoot? <laughs> and this girl is making eyes at Chandler. Okay, so after a while, he, he goes over to her, and uh, after a minute or two, I see them kissing. Now, I know what you're thinking. Chandler's not the type of guy who just goes to bars and makes out with girls. And you're right. Chandler is not the type of guy who just goes to bars and makes out with girls. <laughs> In my defense, it was dark, and he was a very pretty guy. Oh my, I laughed so hard. Oh, oh, so hard we had to throw out your underwear again? <laughs> Whatever, dude. You kissed a guy. Believable, Phoebes. How can you be married? Well, I mean, I'm not married married, you know? He was just a friend, and he's gay, and he was from Canada, and he just needed a green card. I can't believe you married Duncan. I mean, how could you not tell me? We lived together. We told each other everything. I'm sorry, Monica, but I know if I told you, you'd get really, like, judgmental and you would not approve. Of course I wouldn't approve. I mean, you were totally in love with this guy who, hello, was gay. I mean, what the hell were you thinking? See, and you thought she'd be judgmental. 
Okay, <clears throat> I wasn't in love with him, and I was just helping out a friend. Please, when he left town, you stayed in your pajamas for a month. And I saw you eat a cheeseburger. <gasps> <laughs> well, didn't you? I might have. I can't believe you didn't tell me. Oh, come on, like, you tell me everything? Now, what have I not told you? Oh, I don't know. Um, how about the fact that the underwear out there on the telephone pole is yours from when you were having sex with fun Bobby out on the terrace? What? Wait a minute. Who told you? You are dead meat. I didn't know it was a big secret. <laughs> no, it's not big. Not at all. You know, kind of the same lines as, say, oh, I don't know, having a third nipple. <gasps> You bitch. <laughs> whip it out, whip it out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. There's nothing to see. It's just a tiny bump. It's totally useless. Oh, as, as opposed to your other multifunctional nipples. <laughs> I can't believe you. You told me it was a nubbin. <laughs> Joey, what do you think a nubbin was? I don't know. You see something, you hear a word. I thought that's what it was. <laughs> Let me see it again. Joey was in a porno movie. Ooh. <laughs> if I'm going down, I'm taking everybody with me. What? All right, all right, all right, all right. I was young and I just wanted a job, okay? But at the last minute, I couldn't go through with it. So they let me be the guy who comes in to fix the copier, but can't because there's people having sex on it. <laughs> So what's it shaped like? Yeah, is there a hair on it? What happens if you flick it? Okay. What is it about me? Do I not look fun enough? Is there something repellent about me? So how was the party? Well, it couldn't have been worse. A woman literally passed through me. Okay, so what is it? Am I hideously unattractive? No, you are not. You are very attractive. You know what? I go through the exact same thing. Every time I put on a little weight, I start questioning everything. Whoa, whoa. I, I, I put on a little weight? Did you want yeah, to? Yeah, <laughs> No, not weight. You know, more like insulation. <laughs> Chandler, I'm unemployed in dire need of a project. You want to work out? I, I can remake you. Oh, uh, you know, I would, but that might get in the way of my lying around time. <laughs> Please. Come on. Yeah, let her do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, okay, all right. But if we put on spandex and my boobs are bigger than yours, I'm going home. Your boobs are fine. Look, I never should have said anything. Come here. Come here. Oh, <laughs> oh can't make hands meet. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can't do this. Oh, come on. I can never get a girl like that with conventional methods. <laughs> That doesn't matter. She wanted to call Bob. No, hey, for all we know, Bob is who she was meant to be with. You may be destroying two people's chance for happiness. We don't know Bob. <laughs> okay, we know me. We like me. Please let me be happy. Go over there and tell that woman the truth. All right. Go. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Listen, I have to, uh, um, <clears throat> I have to, I have to confess something. Yes? Whoever stood you up is a jerk. How did you? I don't know. I just had this weird sense, you know, but that's me. I'm weird and sensitive. <laughs> Tissue? Thanks. No, you keep the pack. I'm all cried out today. <laughs> Judy and Jack Keller. It's lovely to meet you. So, are you his mother or his father? Jack! What? I've never seen one before. Yeah, there's Ross. Why don't you go talk to him? Oh. I didn't even have a chance to act as though I'm okay with it. <laughs> Hello, all. Hi. 
Dad. Hi, Mr. Bing. Nora. Charles. It, it, it's so great to see you both here. Yes. Although I think we may be seeing a little too much of some people. Aren't you a little old to be wearing a dress like that? Don't you have a little too much penis to be wearing a dress like that? Oh, my God. Of course you can kick his ass, son. You could kick anyone's ass you want to. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. You know what I was thinking? What? Nothing. I just like to go like this. <laughs> hey, Chandler, what are you doing tonight? Uh, why? Do you have a lecture? No, why? Then free as a bird. What's up? <laughs> uh, my dad wants to know if you want to play racquetball with us. Wow, that's great. Dad must really like you. He doesn't ask just anyone to play. Yeah, and he didn't really ask for you. He asked for Chauncey. I assumed he meant you. <laughs> well, did, did you correct him? No, I, I thought it would be more fun this way. <laughs> that is so cool. Maybe this is something you could do every week. Yeah, or you could sit with him on the front porch and make sure no one steals the trash cans. He does that every week, too. <laughs> oh, just so you know, you, you have to let him win. Uh, he hates to lose. Oh, no problem. Maybe I'll play with my left hand. You're not a lefty? <laughs> Does anybody know me? Hey, you know, a weird thing happened today when I was at brunch. This woman overheard that I was marrying you, and, and she, she wished me good luck. That's sweet. No, well, it was more like a good luck. <laughs> So, uh, what did this woman look like? She was, like, 30, dark hair, attractive. Well, is there any chance you were looking into a bright, shiny thing called a mirror? <laughs> Mom, is it someone maybe you dated in college? No, no, I only dated two girls in college, both blonde, both not attractive. <laughs> Hold on one second, let me check this out. What are you doing? Well, let's see. Okay, uh, is that her? Oh, my God, yes! Who is she? Julie Graff, my camp girlfriend. Did you break up with her? No, we're still together. <laughs> oh, yeah, we went out for two summers, and then I broke up with her. Why? Well, because she came back the third summer, and she'd gotten really fat. Uh, uh... Fat? I did not say fat. I said fat. Uh, uh, uh. You broke up with a girl because she was fat? Yeah, yeah. But it was a really, really long time ago. Does she still feel bad? Apparently, she does. Well, you know what they say, elephants never forget. <laughs> Seriously, good luck marrying me.